guys, Thunder Lamp Gaming back here, and in today's video, I really don't know where to start, uh, other than, guys, this is what's coming in Apex Legends Season 3, it has been confirmed, Crypto has been confirmed, his abilities has been confirmed, and the release date, which is October 1st, which falls on my birthday, of course, everything is coming out on my birthday, like, I don't, I can't even comprehend it now, so, uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much what we're gonna go over in this video, a few weapon skins patches coming in, in Season 3. Three meltdown. That's gonna be it. I think we're gonna have a crypto event too, uh, like the wraith and the octane themed event as well. So uh, and uh, a new ranked mode will be coming out. So we're gonna cover all that, guys, in this video. Let's get right into it. So first, let's just start out right out with crypto. A brief description. There's plenty of people making videos about him, so I'm not gonna really go to him death. But he is coming out. He even had you know his trailer released, or more like his origin story, for being completely honest. And there are all his abilities in there. You know his drone was featured in there. His grenade, you know that disables bombs, traps, and people with that. That was also in there. So you know his abilities are so confirmed. And even he even used his like controller for the drone, even in the trailer so we know he's just so confirmed and it's like it's just so out there uh then moving on with seasons so season three is you know season two battle charge you know season one frontier really didn't have anything you know with it because you know they're still introducing characters so now they are introducing season three meltdown so i think uh, hopefully on the front of apex they replace you know wraith watson or a or octane you know with crypto i don't want of them it'll probably be watson to be honest with you since it's not going to be energy anymore it's going to be the new you know meltdown mode i don't really don't know how that means i think things in king's canyon is going like they're it things are going to change a lot especially with textures and things like that and what i mean by that is probably like the you you know, there's gonna be new buildings, new wraith, uh, you know, site or event site, I should say, like the wraith and the octane. No one's really found where that goes yet, but there probably will be like things marked in the next few days for that. So, uh, yeah, guys, moving on. So guys, next I want to talk about the new game mode update that they have coming. They haven't said that solos. I think they might release a ranked series of solo, but they're going to make a ranked mode a new. It's going to be a bigger thing. What they're going to do is they're going to change it now and make the RP difference a little bit different. So you're going to be able to make more RP and you're going to lose a lot more. So it's kind of like not the same, but it's really easy to go up, but it's also really easy to go down, and you also have to pay a lot of RP just to get into a ranked match, but I like what they're doing, and they're raising it up, so I mean, that really helps a lot, and then next, going with that, people will also be reset in ranked mode, so if you were one of those diehards who got up to Predator and Diamond, uh, you guys will be reset down to Platinum, and people who were at Silver will be reset to Bronze, and kind of like that, so I mean, it's really interesting how they're doing that, but it's going to be really easy to go back up now so I mean it's kind of nothing you know nothing's really changed and all you have to do is play a few matches just to get up and I mean if you got to Predator I mean you can do it again so that's literally what they're doing now and then uh, yeah on to the next thing next guys we're moving on to something that people actually don't know and it's kind of a little bit overshadowed now they are bringing a new weapon into the game we don't know if it's going to be normal or if it's going to be new a lot of people uh, suspect that's going to be a common weapon instead of a care uh, package it's kind of going to be another energy weapon like the l star even though the l star was a huge letdown they're trying to do it again it's like this pulse launcher it's kind of like what you do with like the habit where you charge it up you know so in this weapon what you do it's, it's kind of like the triple take with the choke where you're gonna be able to charge it up so it's like this pulse rifle but it's like charged up and then you shoot so I'm really interested to see how that goes. I mean, it kind of sounds uh, like a peacekeeper just, you know, made a little bit different. You guys can go see uh, pictures of it or you guys can uh, just look up <clears throat> new weapon coming in season three, you know, and it's going to come right up. It's a weird looking weapon um, and it's it's going to be weird how it looks and how it's dropped in common games. Uh, it's definitely going to be one of those rare weapons and we don't really know what components will go with it. It kind of sounds like part of the energy family. Um, that's what a lot of people have been saying, and yeah, guys, I'm actually kind of excited to see how this weapon will turn out. Definitely be one of those, like, most, like, the new R99 or something like that. Everybody's gonna want it, right? So, that's how that's gonna go. 
And last but not least, guys, we are going to be talking about the boring things, the patches, things like that. So, guys, the patches were actually kind of interesting. I'm going to just kind of talk about the major ones, not like these little ones that no one's ever going to notice or anything like that. What's been happening is um, the match, what they're going to do is they're going to make rank mode a lot just more penalties if you leave your teammates and what i mean by that is this can actually if you leave too often um and that's actually until the match so until you guys are completely wiped out and you can't either be respawned be revived or leave during matchmaking um but if you get disconnected they actually put a patch in so if you got disconnected you know it's not cool for you and you know it was even their fault so you guys get disconnected will not be banned and but if you guys just leave too often what's going to happen now or just people in general if they leave too often they are going to get banned uh from either i think it's like an hour to a week so it's i don't even know how you would get the week ban like you literally have to probably leave like 100 times in a row and you know just be insane so that's literally how that's working they're gonna try to make loss forgiveness a bigger thing i've noticed now uh, they've been I don't know. I don't seem to get my lost forgiveness anymore. Uh, they said they're gonna wor wor like work on that because some people just can't get it. Um, <clears throat> so, but there's you know they promised the people playing it that they're gonna put that in. So uh, that's all good, guys. I'll probably have like a part two about this when we get closer to it. But these were just all the big things I had to cover in this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it. Please subscribe, you know, and turn on the bell so you never miss another episode or should I say video um, of Apex Legends news. Hopefully I see you guys in the next video. Video. Grunger out. Bye, guys.